existence we are taking life casually mind is busy running after pleasure and missing out at vital happenings around us take for example oxygen if there is no oxygen in air we will die it takes 8 minutes 20 seconds for the sunlight to reach earth if for some reason no sunlight reaches earth all plants and animals would die there will be no life on earth we take this for granted that it will not happen so long earth is there sun will be there we are firm that this is impossible to happen similarly there are many other things which we take for granted whatever is under our possession is of no value but whatever which is not under our possession mind is after that it means we run after which is not ours now the question what should we do if we follow some principle then that principle becomes a predicament to the truth if we want to understand life then we have to rise above our ego and memory we have to go above words numbers pictures and sound and for that we need awakening awakening occurs when the mind is silent and this happens when there is wisdom to get peace we need not to run after peace we need not to have to go to tibet or sit in a sound proof room if we want peace we will not get it and when want evaporates peace is there can we live a single day without words numbers pictures and sound in the absence of these you cannot read write or speak the head will be totally empty without any data if eyes are closed you cannot see anything like a blind person if there is no voice to be heard nothing to be touched then what will happen your relationship with the outer world will be broken you are fighting arguing where it is gone words had become reality for you how dare he speak about me like that where all this is gone just by breaking the medium ears for hearing and eyes for vision skin for touch your world is affected and the day you die something like this is going to happen your body will collapse and you are gone gone into emptiness leaving behind the physical body can somebody show where you are now as one by infinity zero one was you gone into infinity now you are zero your loved one start crying and crying is directly proportional to the attachment and the loss to them physical and emotional if the ego dies before you die then there is a possibility to go beyond in this life itself then there is a possibility to understand the eternal something which is beyond the description in words numbers pictures and sound usually we are confined to words numbers pictures and sound environment through our body in terms of words numbers pictures and sound enter our head and our head makes us dance in accordance 
to the recognized environment. This is how the game of outer influencing the inner starts. If you can see the game, then you are awakened. Else you become a participant and engage yourself in win and lose. When you see you are nothing and when you participate you become something. Something has greed for future and fear of losing whereas nothing is free from all. Choice is yours. You become nothing or you become something. Something can become nothing, but nothing cannot become something. You become nothing and then doors of eternity are opened for you.